okay, I had to dip out the spot, come out here, get some fresh air. You know what I'm saying? Dark Vader, that's that's who we are, Dark Vader. Once you come into understanding who you are, you like that boy Dark Vader, they can't fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? And I guess this, that's my scepter. Anyway, it's uh, one of my favorite spots. I come here all the time because it's isolated. Nobody really be here, and there's a lot of trees. So I can, like, link in with them all the time. People don't even know, like, this is the thing with a tree. Once trees are growing, it cannot be no, like, dead tree around them. Another tree can die because they'll notice that the other tree is, is losing substance, and they will send it through their roots. So they all connect it, you know what I'm saying? That's how we're supposed to be as human, but, you know, we're not like that. And for some reason, we like attacking each other, you know. When other people constantly mess us over, we seem to overlook it. But when each other do it all, we're the first one to address it, you know what I'm saying? We got to change that mentality, you know, and it's not going to get us nowhere. Every uh, 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 dominant, intelligent population that ever happened in this country, uh, first it was in New Jersey. You had uh, black people came together with thoughts they was building, and they just was like, man, this is our own. They sent the motherfucking National Guard and, and bombed them with airplanes and shit and just killed them, wiped them out. Nobody said nothing. The white, Mexican, everybody was there, just allowed it to happen. You feel what I'm saying? That's the thing about humanity. You can't say we all human, we all one. And you allow something to happen regardless of your race doing it. And you don't speak up on it. You feel what I'm saying? Nah, fuck that. Anyway, uh, then another incident happened in Oklahoma. The first motherfucking Wall Street was in Oklahoma City. It was a part of a so-called black uh, population. But it's, it's Native American. You feel what I'm saying? Because once you in tune with the motherfucking earth, People be like, where you get shit from? Where's your source? My source is the source. I come here with the trees and shit, and I know shit. I just know I know, and nobody can fight it. That's to say, once you know, nobody can, you held accountable. If you don't know, you're not held accountable. But once you know, you're held accountable because you know better. You feel what I'm saying? So I know, I study. I see what's going on, and, and it's a divided. It's a, a, a dividing us. Then uh, all these uh, independent women, Independent women, independent women. I just got uh, this, this, uh, what is it called? It can be a uh, hypothesis. Yeah, let's use big ass words. <laughs> I got this hypothesis, and I just want y'all to look at this, okay? Think about this. Christ is a reference to the Lion of Judah, the conquering lion. You feel what I'm saying? The reason that they are. Uh, Identify him with the line of Judah, the conquering lion, because his characteristic is of a lion as the black queen, y'all characteristic of a lioness. So if you go back and you look what a lioness and what a lioness do, it's the lioness that take care of everything. She hunts, she watches the cub, she provides for everybody. But the lion only come out when a territory is violated to protect the cub and his queen. You feel what I'm saying? So the lion's a scrapper. He a fighter. You know, so that's the uh, survival in life. But you got dominant genes. You feel what I'm saying? So y'all say, okay, we want men with money. We want men with money. Now y'all got the, the, the fat, dirty ass, stinky motherfuckers that it, it can't even handle they self when it comes to stand up being a man. Because a time coming where you're going to need a man to uh, protect you. These niggas can't protect they self. They softer than y'all. You feel what I'm saying? But y'all settle for less because they can financially compensate y'all and be y'all boy toy. You know what I'm saying? But the 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 the, the real niggas, they got it hard. This thing got it hard. And this system is dack and stack against them. They trying to knock us off. You feel what I'm saying? And if we ain't got God, we can't be protected. That's the only way we can survive out here was that hedge. You got to have that hedge so your eyes can open up. But this is how the line is. I'm telling y'all this so y'all can learn from the lioness. When mating season come, the lioness go out, all of them sit down in a bunch. And they watch all the lions. And all the lions fight. Some lion haul ass and run off. Some lion fight to the death. But the most dominant lion that done smoked and fought everything, he get to breed all the lioness. 
because nature don't want nothing weak. Ain't no lion that's over there saying, oh, I want that lion, oh, that, that lion that got his ass beat, that ran in head. I want him. Because if you have his child, that's the type of motherfucker you're going to have, a motherfucker that's going to run and hide. You know what I'm saying? So, man, I know motherfuckers ain't been doing what they supposed to do, man, but at the same time, if y'all see a king, a queen make a king. Because once you make him, a woman's going to be a reflection of her man. Behind every great man, there's an even great and ca even greater and capable woman. You feel what I'm saying? They tricking y'all, telling y'all, man, they motherfucker ain't doing this and separating us so they can motherfucking do the backdoor sneak. Man. Well, I just am saying, have y'all ever been helped by a real nigga? You been lift up? Or you just feel all the protection? Nigga might not have money in the pocket, man. Nigga have all the money in his pocket, but he'll never give you that feeling. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah.